Berry College. Here we find more than just students and deer. The eastern gray squirrel also calls this campus home. These squirrels live in almost any area with large deciduous trees. They can be found in both rural and urban areas, like college campuses. Gray squirrels build leaf nests in hollows of trees and crooks of branches. Their favorite trees are white oak, American beech, American elm, red maple, and sweet gum. Eastern gray squirrels are most active at dawn and dusk. During this time, they may forage, build nests, or look for mates, depending on the time of year. Squirrels primarily feed on nuts, seeds, and berries. They can also eat flowers and insects. Here a gray squirrel is using its chisel-like front teeth to remove the seeds from a magnolia fruit. The squirrels bury food in winter caches using a method called scatter hoarding. During the winter, when the food is scarce, they can locate these caches using both memory and smell. The squirrels are most vulnerable when they are on the ground, so at the first sight of a threat, they run up the nearest tree. Hawks, coyotes, and feral cats are their main predators. When in the trees, squirrels orient themselves toward the threat and often emit alarm signals to neighbors, which can be both visual and vocal. Here we see a female twitching her tail. This is the most common signal. Twitches are general and not very attention-getting. They can be observed when squirrels are on the ground or in the trees. Tail flags and vocal signals are more conspicuous and used less often. Here's an example of tail flagging. There are three types of vocal calls squirrels use. The more common are kicks and quaws, and the least common are moans. This is what a moan sounds like. Here we see a squirrel responding to a recording of cooks and quaz. This squirrel is vocalizing a combination of cooks and quaz. Notice she is also using tail flags. Vocal signals are usually accompanied by tail twitches or flags. The type of alarm signals squirrels use varies with urgency and predator type. A study conducted at the University of Miami has suggested that moans are primarily elicited by aerial threats, while flags are associated more with terrestrial threats. Female gray squirrels raise their young while males disperse after mating. The majority of the squirrels we observed making these calls were females, so it is likely that these alarm calls are used to alert family members of an impending threat. This would be an example of altruism if the squirrels are increasing their inclusive fitness. He's chewing on a ketchup packet.
And then Kara stopped. That's what you're doing on a yep. Saturday night. <laughs> ah!